Good morning, my beautiful people. I hope everybody's doing great. I know I'm sweating like crazy. So it's been a lot um, going on with this whole flooding and water situation. So we have the connection pipe out here to water the garden. I'm gonna turn this around so you can see the reason why I'm sweating. So we haven't, we can't use the water faucet outside. outside. So because of that, I can't water the garden or the only way for me to water the garden, I have to go in the house two flights of stairs to bring water to the garden. So I haven't been doing it, honestly, the last two weeks, I just couldn't do it. So this morning I got mot motivated and decided to do it because one of my very, very good sisters, actually she have no idea how what she told me motivated me to get out here and do what I gotta do. Um, how my vegetables have been helping her you know, um, why she's sick to help her to eat better. So that alone just motivated me to come out here and do what I gotta do. So let me turn this around and show you what I just did. I just brought a lot of water from in the house. Let me turn this around. So I just fill all these up with water from in the house and here as well. So I am going to be watering. Look at everything is just all over the place. The peppers, um, we have a lot of red, bright peppers, a lot of ripe bitter ball. You guys know what it is, my Liberian people. Uh, I just picked some peppers, but we still do have some ripe peppers in there that I have to pick. And we do have tomatoes coming out. Now, over the years, I have been able to harvest tomatoes sometimes into November. So I'm getting ready to give them some fertilizer because we do have some good tomatoes in here, a lot of big tomatoes. Just give them some good deep watering to help them out um, and stuff. So yeah, and then the okra. So I'm gonna clean this area uh, today, between today and tomorrow, because I do have some greens that is growing. Let me show you. So I just watered these. This is all like kale, collard greens, kale. So they are sprouting good. I just give them some deep watering and I am going to be transferring them up this hill. Some of them up the hill or I may plant like the onions and garlic for overwinter up this hill. It's a lot of tomatoes in here that I have to pick as well. But yeah, so it's just been a lot going on. I just haven't, I honestly have not been feeling it. I just really got discouraged because I just, I lost two freezers, big freezers filled with all food, vegetables. And those are things that, and those are things that you just cannot just get back because with every growing season you know you harvest and it's just discouraging it was just really really discouraging but i had to push myself and just keep going because these vegetables is not just for oh my god i'm gardening is 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 really helping my family not just my family but it's helping a lot of people that i know so i just cannot just give up i have to push myself and I have to keep going. So pray for me because I need it right now. Because honestly, I do. Okay, I'm not gonna lie to you, I do. Um, yeah, so anyway, let me get to work and I'm going to be watering these plants, giving them some really good deep watering today and pray for the best. I got a harvest on ginger and a lot of nettle. Let me turn it around. It's a lot of nettle growing all over the place. I picked some strawberries the other day. Um, so I'm going to be harvesting these nettle and the other ones on the other side. So this ginger here, you see, look at the ginger right there. So I'm going to be cleaning it out. Yeah, it's a lot of tomatoes that are in there that I have to pick as well. But anyway, have a good day. 